Hi guys, Innovator Pachyderm here, and I'm starting to build the first enclosure of Criatura Zoo. Now I decided I was going to add in the Aardvark as the first creature. Well, Aardvark and Tomzin's Gazelle. Uh, I didn't um, think of adding the Gazelle until later um, while building this because I realized how big the enclosure was <laughs> for the Aardvark and I thought Adding a second creature in there would work pretty well. But um, anyways, um, you're going to see me putting in a giant hole in the ground. And that's because I know aardvarks like to burrow underground and stuff. So I wanted to make a den underground. <laughs> now, I might have overdone it. But that's because... Um, I've, I've tried doing underground enclosures um, before, and usually my problem is I never had enough space. So I just made a giant hole just so I had enough space to make the the burrow as I as I want it to be. <laughs> Cause, yeah, I just need to make sure I get everything I want down in there. <laughs> I wanted to put like a waterfall and their um, beds in there, so that's where the aardvarks and gazelles would sleep. But you are going to see that I end up using like a fraction of that giant hole <laughs> that I made. I just really needed to make sure I had enough space. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are more used to the whole uh, mechanics of Planet 2, but I'm, I'm not there yet still. Getting a hang of it. Alright, I know I keep saying that I'm trying to get I'm getting used to the whole build mechanics, but right now <laughs> you're gonna see me try to do a lot of rock walls. It's not my best work, but it's also not my worst. <laughs> um considering I try to I try to um, add a lot of what's it called? Uh con not con variation with the rocks you know there was red and grays in there I don't know I probably shouldn't have done it I should have just stick with one color <laughs> but I wanted to make it look like it was a bunch of different rocks I'm somewhat happy with it you know <laughs> I know there's uh, people who do a lot better rock walls like best in slot and if um, Kaden had a chance to play Planet Zoo, he'd probably build like a majestic <laughs> rock wall. <laughs>
So from what I remember, when I first played Planet Zoo during the tutorial, they said that that the park guests don't like looking at staff areas, like the vet, um, staff room, and all this other stuff. So I kind of like that they said that, because then it gives you, or it, it makes you be creative of how you try to hide it from them. So I try to make like a hidden uh, canyon valley, not bad valley, like a hidden canyon way for this whole staff, um, staff zone? Is that what they're called? Yeah, staff zone. And it's right near the artwork exhibit too. Um, I'm also gonna set it up so the next enclosure that'll be right next to the art of arc um, enclosure will also be in that um, staff room or staff zone. Or I'll make a same staff zone or a new staff zone, but using those same buildings. That way, uh, the what's it called the. The, the employees know where to go, <laughs> if that makes sense. So now I adopted the Artivark so I can have a better idea of what foliage and um, habitat requirements that they need, like the paint options, like how much sand, gravel, not gravel, we don't have gravel, <laughs> short grass and long grass, all, all that jazz. <laughs> and this is where I had a lot more fun, because I think my strengths are decorating the insides of enclosures, like adding the trees and bushes and stuff. I try to add a lot of like grass, trees, and bushes just to make it seem a bit natural or, you know, full of life, I guess, you know? <laughs> make the enclosure look nice just as the artworks look nice, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so this is the thing I'm most proud of. Using the rocks to make termite mounds. <laughs> I I don't do a whole crazy thing to make termite mounds, but it kind of looks like a termite mound and that makes me happy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone's made a little bit better termite mounds, but I'm proud of this. I, <laughs> I was being innovative <laughs> for once. I really and I really like this. Um, it brings a lot more character to the enclosure because aardvarks like to eat termites. I'm pretty sure. I think they like they dig into the termite mounds and eat from termites. If only there was like a, a termite effect, maybe that'd be cool for the aardvarks to eat the termites.
All right, and here's the finished enclosure for the Aardvark and Thompson Gazelle. Oh. Aww. That's so cute. <laughs> What's this? Animal is stressed. Oh. Well, I have it. I have the setting set. <gasps> Our first offspring. Will we see our first baby artwork? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> it's so cute! I love it. I think artworks are my favorite look looking little creatures like this. <laughs> But I should really turn off breeding because I did put a lot of females and males together and they're going to be multiplying a lot. But anyways, so yeah, th I think this is a pretty good starter exhibit. I made the staff area hidden away because it says that the, the zoo goers don't like seeing the keeper huts, but they're all the way over there, so I don't know if they'll be upset seeing if or whatever if from that distance. I need to remember to use this underwater grass because this looks good on on the surface. They really do. Is there a um? What's this? Heat map? No, I don't need that. I wish there was a way to go in, uh, into as my avatar. Unless there is a way and I'm that smart. <laughs> well, yeah, these are supposed to be like termite mounds. You know, the things that aardvarks like to dig up and eat. They've got their pellets here. Are they feeding the gazelles? I don't know if they're feeling. Oh! You wanna have a child too? <gasps> oh, it's right over there! <laughs> Look at you. So tiny. Ooh. And let's go down the cave of. I need to fix that. And this area. This was mainly meant for the aardvarks, but it seems like the gazelles like to come down here too. Look at him sleeping. <laughs> He's like, hey, what are you doing here? It's my place. I could have done this area a little bit better. I'm just not good with tunneling and using the flat surface tool. Hello, did you get tired? Oh, Scritch, scritch, scritch. Oh, a lot of them are getting tired. Did you just sneeze? What was that?
<laughs> I'm glad I, I made that correctly because I know you can make like underground tunnels like that for the creatures to walk on. I made them a little pool. Waterfall feature. Go swimming. Rick Terrapus Affer Darvark. I don't understand the language of Planet Zoo. <laughs> Eudorsus Thompsoni Thompson's Guzala. I honestly think they just translated it to their speech. <laughs> Look at that hair! I like that hair, sir. We got two players visiting. I think they're gone. Oh, they don't like how I built the enclosure. I hope the traffic home is okay. <laughs> then they've seen bigger zoos. Hey, I just started. <laughs> and they got big plans for this area right here. Well, not yet. I actually need to choose what creatures that we should add. Animal trading. Reset all filters. What can we do with that side? African wild dogs? That'd be cool. I could do that. <gasps> More babies! Who are camels? I haven't done a camel exhibit. Or tapirs? Tapirs would be cool. I guess I'll let you guys decide in the comment section. <laughs> Thompson's Godzilla. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna... Settings. Game. Animal. Disable aging and birth. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I need any more babies. He's carrying it with them. Oh, they took it. He wants to take it to bed. Aww. <laughs> That's adorable. He brought it for the baby. They do little bark sounds. I love that. That's cute. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think of this enclosure. <gasps> Baby artworks? <laughs> so adorable. Alright, so yeah, let me let me let me know what you guys think of this enclosure. I think it's pretty cool. Getting the hang of making like rock areas. I think the Chaotic Craft would be proud. Need to do better, but I think it's good for now. <laughs> and tell me what you think the next exhibit should be. What? Uh, just let me know what animals. Maybe we could do a vote. Who knows? <laughs> And make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.